Hello everyone and a very very good afternoon to all of you. This is Vishrut Bhuj and I would like to begin my speech with a very short and a very lucid poem. If bigger is your dreaming, you leave behind all the excuses and screaming and that is when no one will stop you from gleaming. A lot of opinions including my very own have suggested that dreams are as important as air, water and food. because those who are lifeless they certainly cannot dream it all began at the age of 5 when for the very very first time i saw a color tv enter into my house even though we had very few handful of channels there were couple of sports channels that i really adored watching the mesmerizing aura of the international sports of the early 1990s instilled in me a dream of becoming a sports person and after watching the likes of sachin tendulkar david beckham pete sampras and many others i decided that i should start emulating them in order to be that sports person that i really want to be the inexplicable charisma of these sports personalities always made me remain glued to my tv and i firmly resolved that no matter what i will give it a shot and i will become the sports person that i want to be unfortunately my orthodox minded my conservative minded family along with my anemic condition did not allow me to pursue my passion time passed and i realized that even though i did not achieve what i desired i still can be that unique person and there was a weird thought that actually came to my mind and i started reading the lives of different different personalities from different different industries and i started asking myself what if i am as charming as an actor what if i have the rhetoric of a politician what if i have the fitness of a sports person or what if i am as knowledgeable as a historian upon further scrutinizing i found out or i discovered that instead that apart from having great skills it is very very important to imbibe greatness because this is how you will be able to achieve your dreams Okay. Now, I want to be equivalent to Mukesh Ambani, Jeff Bezos, and a lot of millionaires out there. Because in order to reach or in order to touch the sky, it is very, very important for us to yeah, be a venerated role model. So, I would like to conclude my speech with a famous verse that was said by Lord Krishna: that every journey, any journey to any form of excellence, will be through the roads of patience and hard work. Thank you very very much this is yours truly Vishwanath Bhuj